evening, everyone. Sue is off tonight. I'm Dawn Fertangelo. Trouble in the streets of Washington Heights tonight brought on by a controversial police shooting there. It began as a peaceful protest march, but it quickly turned ugly. Bottles of rocks were thrown from rooftops, cars set on fire, gunshots fired at police. It happened just hours after a visit by Mayor Dinkins, who promised to get the truth out. David Diaz is live in Washington Heights now with details for us. David? Yes, Chuck, we're at 181st Street and St. Nicholas Avenue. If you can see, the camera can catch in the distance. Fire is all along this avenue, along the streets. From as far south we hear as 155th Street, past us to the north, all the way to 192nd Street. The mayor had been here earlier today in an attempt to provide calm. And earlier this evening, in fact, some of his increased the Peace Corps had been out prior to a community meeting, leafleting people with leaflets, telling them to stay calm while the investigation continued. Well, unfortunately, they were giving those leaflets to the wrong people. Carrying limbs torn from trees and a fast rising rage, a crowd of demonstrators took to the streets, cursing the police and demanding justice in the case of Jose Kiko Garcia, whom they believe was in effect murdered by a cop. Eventually, they would confront a cordon of cops at 181st Street and Broadway, two blocks from the 34th Precinct. For a while, their passion took refuge in proclamations of their Dominican heritage. But that did not satisfy those bent on venting their anger. Dozens of young people broke off, running down 181st Street, trashing whatever they could along the way. As usual, there was neither rhyme nor reason to the destruction. I am Dominican myself. I am Dominican myself, but I'm going to go for this, man. I swear to God. Ten minutes later, while one part of a neighborhood seemed to be getting back to normal, other parts were giving off the acrid smoke and frightening disorder of urban rebellion. Okay, well, the situation, as far as we understand it, is that there have been 11 arrests so far. Meanwhile, the fire department is fighting fires sporadically, hithering and yawning, as it were, trying to put out these small fires that are in trash cans and with cars. But so far, very few injuries. There have been uh, no attacks that we know of on strangers or anyone driving by. The venom here is directed exclusively at the police, in particular, the police of the 34th Precinct. A lot of pent-up frustration and anger uh, that has erupted as a result of this case of Jose Kiko Garcia. We understand the mayor will be making another statement later this evening. We will come back to this scene and we will bring that to you when we have it later in the broadcast. For now, this is David Diaz live at 181st Street in St. Nicholas. Back to Chuck and Dawn. David, thank you.